The most extraordinary portrait of all is also the oldest. Painted by none other than the first great Flemish pioneer of oil painting, it's the secular counterpart to his Ghent altarpiece. Not a vision of heaven, but a depiction of an inscrutable man and his wife in the comfort of their bedroom. Painted in 1434, this entrancing picture by Jan van Eyck opens the door to the private world of the wealthy Flemish merchant class. It used to be called the Arnolfini Wedding. It used to be thought that it depicted Giovanni Arnolfini, a wealthy banker from Lucca, based in Bruges, and his wife. That's by no means certain. But I think we can say that these people were extremely well off. They were representative of this new upsurge of Flemish wealth and prosperity. But it would be a mistake to see this picture for all its realism as some kind of snapshot of their domestic world. It's a highly charged, symbolic, ritualized depiction of two people. There's something extremely solemn about it. If Jan van Eyck was a necromancer, a magician using paint, I think of this portrait very much as a kind of spell or incantation designed to bring good fortune on this couple. The dog stands at the couple's feet, stands for loyalty, for obedience, for fidelity. Behind the bride hangs a broom, symbol of purity, cleanliness. And around that beautiful convex mirror, there are painted scenes of Christ's passion, as if to indicate that this is a union blessed in the eyes of God. A single candle burns in the chandelier, emblem of the love that shall never be extinguished. And just above that pair of clasped hands, Van Eyck has intruded another significant detail, a grinning, gurning gargoyle carved into the arm of the chair at the back of the room. And I think that gargoyle is here to do exactly the same job as gargoyles on the fronts of churches, namely to scare off evil spirits, to ward off all evil from damaging this union. Look on the window ledge and look on the sideboard. A little cluster of fruit. Her belly is round, not because she's pregnant, because she's wearing a stomacher, but I think the hope is that this union will itself bear fruit. And on the back wall, Jan van Eyck has signed the picture in wonderful curlicue script. The inscription says in Latin, Jan van Eyck was here. And if you look just below it, if you look into that reflection in the convex mirror, so beautifully painted, what do you see? You see the couple from the back. And if you look closely enough, you can see a shadowy figure, perhaps two figures. I wonder if one of them is not meant to be Jan van Eyck himself, the painter preserving forever this moment when he looks at them and they look at him. I wonder if this picture wasn't his wedding gift to the couple in the painting. If so, I do hope they were grateful. Flemish art's change of focus from sacred to secular was part of a seismic shift taking place across all of Europe, but especially in the Low Countries. 